Good day, folks. In this lesson, we're going to go over how to import a uh, sprite sheet and how to cut it up. Um, so one of the things is, if you notice, like in the scavenger, like sort of uh, pro completed project, like you can kind of expand the sprite sheet, and each of the individual frames are there. Or if you go into the sprite sheet, let's go in here to Finder, and you look at it, it's actually just one like PNG. So uh, like here's what it looks like in uh, Finder, actually with Preview. So well, how do you import like one image, and how do you get Unity to interpret it as a bunch of individual frames? It's not that bad. So I've selected a uh, like in the Open Game Art site, and there's two links here, Kenny and Open Game Art. The process is going to basically be the same. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and grab this Robot and Jungle. I go ahead and just click on it, and it's going to my Downloads folder. I'm going to go ahead to my Sprites folder, and I'm going to say Import New Asset. Then th there's my Downloads folder. I'm just going to grab this. And I already got one in here um, because I was you know, practicing. So from this point, if I go ahead and expand it, it's just one image. Well, that's not going to help us. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to split this up. We need to have Unity interpret the different parts of this uh, sprite sheet as a um, as a, uh, a bunch of different frames. So we're going to go ahead and um, basically you can uh, kind of look at the settings that we use for the scavenger. And you can sort of get an idea of what you're going to do. So if we go here to our texture type. That's fine. Sprite mode, we're going to select multiple. And what we're going to be doing is the making some adjustments where it says pixels per unit. Uh, of course, apply. We're going to set to 32. Of course, apply. Uh, and let's go ahead and we're going to go to the sprite editor. And we're going to go ahead and um, split these sprites up. So let's click on Sprite Editor. And that's going to open up this screen here. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to say, like, hey, how do we want to slice this up? And so we'll go ahead to Slice. And then the type uh, we'll set, set to Automatic, Pivot set to Center, and we can just go with Delete Existing. We'll click on Slice and then Apply. OK. And there we go. So now we've got these like individual frames. Now there's some things that we could do in terms of like we could continue to slice up this long piece here, and we can do that at some point. I can show you, but uh, for now, uh, most of the sprite sheets you get are going to already be kind of uh, how you want them to be. So let's go ahead and just exit out of that. And now when we open this sprite sheet up, you see we've got all of our. Let me make sure I'm. Uh, yeah, that's the correct one. We've got all of the sprite sheets that we want. I'm going to just make sure. Um, we want to adjust the max size and the compression. So the max size we want to set to 1024. And then compression we set to none. OK, and let's click on Apply. And also then for the filter mode, uh, set to no filter. OK, so now uh, we go ahead and we can go to our prefabs. Um, and we're going to do some things uh, with this. Uh, that will kind of uh, help us out. So if we go to prehabs, um, now uh, this is going to be just for the tiles, um, like kind of that make the map up as well as the power ups. You see, I've kind of already started to change some, but while I'm here, let's go ahead to floor four. And let's go ahead and go to sprite and then select one of the new, and this is the browser as far as the sprites that we had worked with before um, that we just brought in. Um, and let's go to pick like uh, this one here, this robot jungle environment. Now we're going to have to do some things because if we would render this level, this is not going to fill up the whole sort of square. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to set the uh, the draw mode to sliced, okay, and set the width and height to one and one. You might have to do some adjustments here. Sometimes you might have to do 1.2 or or, or uh, one. 1.1 or 1.2 or 1. Start off with 1, OK? Um, and then when we render it, um, you see there's going to be a combination of things. Um, you're going to see sort of like where there's some artifacts. Like, so you see here, like this guy right here is something I didn't uh, uh, shape to the right size. Um, so, but these other ones, you can see I kind of scaled them and sort of changed them. There's going to be some things, like you look at like this, this guy right here. I want to just keep that as like an outer wall, um, but that's something I can change. Then there's um, 
sort of this floor three that just doesn't look good at all. And that's going to be more so appropriate for like a power up. Um, but anyways, with floor four, uh, we set here the width, height, slice, that looks good. Um, and we might want to just sort of uh, make some adjustments there. But that kind of, um, let's see here. Oh, also the scale should be set to one. Make sure that your scale doesn't sort of get uh, shifted off there. Sometimes it gets to weird values. Let's make sure now floor four looks good. Yeah, there we go. So you can see uh, we have getting a bit more like this is almost like a hodgepodge of sci-fi and uh, kind of like um, sci-fi and post-apocalyptic, kind of like a weird mix. Uh, so you're gonna kind of probably want to pick a theme and stick with it, OK? And or else you're going to get it kind of looking bad like this. But I had to do this in order to sort of practice it and figure it out. Um, if you have questions, give me a heads up. You can do the same thing, just this, the quick one-to-one -one swap for uh, the food as well as uh, for the, um, uh, the, the soda. Um, we'll do enemies and player in another video. Wish the best of luck. Good stuff.